So while on the issue of masturbation Christians are quite divided, he says this about the issue of pornography. I have not found one person make an allowance for the possibility that watching pornography might be morally acceptable. So it seems that conservative Christians agree we should not be watching pornography. But why then are we so divided on the issue of masturbation? And the survey data does show we are more likely to struggle with masturbation than particularly pornography. And you know, when you're talking about something like this, I had a friend tell me that I had a gift of talking about awkward subjects. And so if this is the type of thing that you find difficult, or I hope that my gift of talking about awkward things with being able to keep a straight face is something that can bless you today. Okay, let's look at what is it that causes the divide. So he said the consensus of virtually all pastors I interviewed and writers I surveyed is that the Bible does not contain any explicit teaching on masturbation. So herein lies our problem. Many of us have a perspective that he in this book calls Biblicism. That is where we look at the Bible as the ultimate and supreme authority when we are trying to have convictions about something like masturbation. So he says the handbook model of interpretation, here the Bible is viewed as a sort of exhaustive manual or textbook containing God's instructions for Christians on every subject, including sexuality, family, science, personal finance, the environment, politics, social media, physical fitness, and so on. And so what that means is, he goes on to say, the clear implication is that because the Bible does not give a clear teaching on masturbation, Christians should not condemn the practice unequivocally. And so a lot of us have lacked what we would say is the authority to speak uh, authoritatively on the issue of masturbation if we believe the Bible is silent. So if we can't point to a verse and say, hey, this verse says you shouldn't masturbate, we're therefore going to be ambiguous and say maybe it is morally permissible. And he goes back and points out again that we have a weak theology of the body. Now, I covered this in the first part of this series, and the idea of the theology of the body is that we as conservative Protestants can treat the issue of the heart as more important than the body. So it's really my ultimate intentions that are more important. And I explained in that video how there's there's certainly truth that Jesus pointed to the heart, but he didn't say that our actions don't matter. And so we don't want to stretch that too far. This is Jason for Soul Fire, where we want to offer gospel hope for a porn-filled world. Remind you that sexual integrity is possible. Now, it's not easy, especially when we talk about something like masturbation, but I will catch you in the next one.